I'm Anne. Welcome to Zoo's Day Tuesday, where you get to be part of our conversation about conservation. And I'm Elissa. Today we will be exploring the question, why do zoos matter? Now that's a really big question to take on with lots of rich history behind it. So today we decided to talk to you outside in front of our historic bear pits. This enclosure no longer holds bears, though now they do provide a safe home for our eagles. Science and research have helped us to continue to improve animal welfare over a hundred years. The Pueblo Zoo continues to be on the forefront of the highest level of animal care as a member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, or AZA. And AZA is so important in helping people to know that when they come to a zoo, like the Pueblo Zoo, they're supporting an organization who cares deeply about conservation, education, science, and recreation. So let's dive in and see why zoos matter. Luckily, we got lots of input from our staff here at the Pueblo Zoo to help us ta tackle this big topic. Let's see what they had to say. Hi, my name is Kayla. I'm one of the rainforest keepers here. Hey guys, my name is Felipe. I am a zookeeper here at the Pueblo Zoo. Hi, I'm John Alderton with the Pueblo Zoo. I'm the facilities director here, and I've been here for 23 years. I'm Abby Krause. I'm the executive director of the Pueblo Zoo. Hello, my name is Anna, and I'm an animal care supervisor here at the Pueblo Zoo. My name is Amanda Hafer. I'm the education coordinator here at the Pueblo Zoo. And this is Ziggy, one of our education animals. Hi guys, my name's Holly and I work here at the Pueblo Zoo and I am one of the penguin keepers. Um, as you can see, many of them are swimming behind me. They're doing their midday bath. And zoos are so important to conservation of these animals because it allows people to see animals that they wouldn't always see. And they kind of get to learn what they look like, what they do, why they're important to the environment. All species have some sort of value besides being cute. <laughs> so when people come to a zoo, they're able to, to see things they normally wouldn't see, they're able to learn, and we're able to teach. So one of my favorite things about it, being a zookeeper, besides working with the animals, obviously, um, and training them, that's super cool, is being able to teach people about what I do and why it's so important. As a zookeeper, I feel like I'm making a difference in something that's very important to me, which is, saving the animals. Fortunate to spread the message of conservation and why these animals are so important to our ecosystem as a whole, uh, why they are so important to their specific areas. One of the things I really like about the Pueblo Zoo is the ability to see all the kids that come through here and what a good time they have seeing all of our wonderful display of animals. Why do I love the Pueblo Zoo? Because it's a place of wonder and inspiration. It's a place where we can discover animals like penguins and lions and find out what we can do in our daily lives to help with conservation in the world. It's a place that unlocks the imagination. In play places like this, our eagle's nest in our pollination demonstration garden, where kids learn about sustainable practices. It's a safe place for families to spend quality time together and a fun place to learn. The Pueblo Zoo is a place of pride in our community that enriches our quality of life. And what the zoo means to me is it's a place where I can come to use my animal skills um, and my love of biology to care for the animals that we have here. And for the guests, it's a place for you to see animals from all across the world. Um, and get to really appreciate just how diverse the wildlife is that calls Earth home. So I grew up here in Pueblo and I came to the Pueblo Zoo for as long as I can remember. Um, it's kind of where I grew my love for animals. My favorite part about working at the Pueblo Zoo is feeling like we're making a difference. Helping the animals, teaching about conservation, uh, and just showing the public that there are things that we can do just locally here to help those endangered species. I'm passionate about zoos in general um, because I think it provides a great opportunity for families to come together and have a really 
nice learning opportunity, but still be able to have fun. And some of the things that I hope that you guys learn when you come to the zoo are about the care that we provide for our animals, We're providing great care. But then we take it a step further and we like to look at um, how we can connect what we do with the wild and their wild cousins. And one of the things that we do here with penguins and with many other species is working with what we call the SSP, and that's a species survival program. And so we work help to help meet their needs uh, with genetics in case we ever need to use genetics from a zoo facility to repopulate them, but we also help raise funds for research uh, and participate in research here so that we can assist the researchers in the wild to make sure that we can do what we can to maintain a population and generations can, to come can see these animals in their natural habitats. Wow, it was so great to hear from all those amazing people who helped make the Pueblo Zoo an amazing place. But we couldn't do it without you. By supporting Zoos Day Tuesday, buying products in our gift shop, or even just attending the zoo, your support helps to continue to prove why zoos matter. And to make that even easier, if you attend the Pueblo Zoo between the months of November and December, and you say, Zoos Day Tuesday at the gate, you get a dollar off your regular admission ticket. That's right. Don't forget to come see all our amazing animals and maybe even meet some of the staff who you just saw in the video. But now it's the time that we want to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments you would like us to answer, you can put them in the chat box below and we'll answer them live. Or if you're watching this at a later date, you can send your questions to our brand new email, education at pueblozoo.org. Do we have any questions? How old is the Pueblo Zoo? That is a good question and a complicated one. Parts of the zoo have been around Pueblo since the late 1800s. It wasn't until 1935 though that um, all of the parts came here to this site and we were fully licensed with the state. When did the Pueblo Zoo join the AZA? That's a good question. So the Pueblo Zoo has been a member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums for about 31 years now. And uh, we are still today. What is the oldest part of the zoo? That's a good question as well. We're standing right in front of one of the oldest parts of the zoo, the historic bear pits. But some of the other historic buildings include the World of Color building and the Islands of Life building. And they were built during the Great Depression in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. You can learn more about the history of the Pueblo Zoo on our website on the page pueblozoo.org backslash about. Do we have any other questions? All right, that is the end of our video. We look forward to seeing you next month, the first Tuesday of December for our next Tuesday Tuesday episode. Thanks for watching. See you next month. Bye. Bye.